Hi everyone and welcome back to a new vlog. I have not vlogged in ages. Um, I knew I wasn't going to vlog our holidays. We went away for a week and it was absolutely, it was so good. So good. I felt like I enjoyed it even more because I'm pregnant. Literally, we didn't go on a single excursion. Um, so we went on a holiday to go see our wedding venue and uh, it was everything and more. <laughs> um, we are so happy with our wedding venue, like we could not be happier with it. It's exactly it's exactly as we thought it would be and even better. Um, yeah, so th that's all we did. Like that is the most exciting thing that we did which is obviously very exciting seeing you running venue if you follow me on instagram then you would have seen my outfits and some of the clothes which i took with me um i might do like a little clothing haul within this video maybe show you guys a few bits and bobs which i picked up um i've not really been doing that much shopping i feel like after my big zara haul that i did um a couple of weeks back um i haven't really shot on was it a couple of weeks back? Maybe like a month ago. I haven't really been doing any shopping. Like even at like H and M hasn't really caught my eye. Um, I have this gorgeous white dress which I need to show you from Abercrombie. Which yeah, I'll show you guys that in a bit. Um, but and I have some baby stuff actually. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna do a little baby haul as well. We got back yesterday and I was just like sorting all of my laundry. The weather is beautiful, so I love doing laundry when the sun is out and that everything can dry outside, everything dries within a day. Um, so I've just been like doing all that, did the food shop, all of like the life house admin -y stuff I've been doing. Um, but today I actually have a dentist appointment. So I need to head off to the dentist in a minute. Well, in about 15 minutes. Um, because whilst I was on holiday, my tooth cracked. I know it sounds absolutely wild. Um, basically, I have a filling in tooth on this side, which has just been giving me a headache. It's, since I've been pregnant, this tooth has just been aching so badly. And to be honest, I, I had heard people complain about having teeth issues whilst pregnant, but I was like, oh, it's just another one of those things. Um, but yeah, I've never had more, I've never seen my dentist more regularly than when I'm pregnant. Um, than when I've been pregnant, like I had my wisdom tooth taken out. Now this tooth is playing up and whilst I was on holiday, I think I was eating some nuts, which I usually eat and I have eaten whilst having this filling. It cracked literally it took the filling out and a big part of my tooth and now i've just had a massive like hole in my tooth and half of what half of my tooth is just not there anymore also whilst i am on my way to the dentist i need to go and pick up some packages because um i have a bunch of packages which weren't delivered and i have no clue what they are because i haven't ordered anything but yeah gonna be doing that as well i've got quite a good tan from holiday um i was using like spf 50 and stuff like that. i use spf 50 every day to be honest even in winter i've used it today i'll show you guys the spf which i use on my face actually just in case anyone's interested because it is that time of the year for my face i'm sure you guys know that i use this garnier one it's actually finished it's pretty much i think i maybe have one more like squeeze of it and then i think it's gonna be done it's just this garnier spf spf 50 it's so good um it doesn't i popped it onto it it doesn't leave your white cast apparently it's anti-dark spot and anti-pollution i did a big look was it look fantastic i don't know or was it court beauty i did a big order on court beauty i actually showed it in a haul that whole, I just, that, that vlog, no, I actually showed it in a vlog and that vlog is not happening because it was filmed like weeks and weeks ago and I didn't announce my pregnancy and I just thought it wouldn't make sense to be showing you guys old content. I bought this SPF here from Cordelie because um, I saw it, um, I think I just saw it ad advertised somewhere and I really, really wanted it. So it's a very high protection sun water and I like it, but I'm a little bit disappointed in it because i read the reviews on the cult beauty website and i thought because it's called a sun water it wouldn't be oily basically i have extreme oily skin i have extreme oily skin before i got pregnant now with this pregnancy literally it's just me against my skin it is so oily and i know people are like oh the glow 
it's not glow it's just straight up oil so i thought i would buy this because it because it said it wasn't spf because it said it was a sun water i thought it wouldn't be oily and i actually read a review where someone said it wasn't oily i disagree <laughs> i'm not going to say it's a lie because you know it's taking a bit too far isn't it but um it is so oily like i broke out a couple of times on my face and i think it's because i wore this on my face considering i was in a warm environment where i was getting where my skin was producing its natural oils anyway i was probably a little bit sweaty just from being warm my skin must have just been like freaking out i like to use this on my body because it leaves a really nice glow like i've used it on my chest here my decolletage my arms um i use it on my body but <sighs> this is not going to be a face um spf for me and then spf which i have been loving absolutely loving i love everything from dermalogica like i receive their stuff in pr and i kid you not their products are just my favorites anyway i also brought this spf with me which is an spf 50 from dermalogica but yeah i brought this with me because i like to have a cream one as well just because sometimes my body skin gets a little bit dry so so good this was not oily at all didn't have that like greasy feel that most spfs have it just absorbed into the skin and even when i went into the water um it didn't like come off like i could still um feel a, i can still see a little bit of, i could still see a little bit of it on in the um in the water i feel like whenever i get a tan um you see less and less of my eyebrows so i'm gonna just pop something on my eyebrows I'll put a bit of lip stuff i don't like to wear makeup when i'm not filming really or if i'm going to the dentist i don't want to do that um so i'm gonna do my eyebrows pop in a bit of lip stuff show you guys my jewelry and my perfume of the day okay i've just popped on the lightest amount of makeup just a little bit just a little bit of something on my brows mascara and um this nars lip balm which i've had for a little while i just love the little bit of tint i love having a little bit of a i love having a little bit of color on my lips I'm gonna go for these little huggies. I'm gonna go for the, these kind of chunky huggies. I haven't worn these in a little while. And then perfume of the day. I'm gonna wear this one. So I'm gonna wear Dior Jadior. Yum. So this is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing this dress here from Zara. Um, I've had this for like three or four years. I absolutely love it. It's been through the wash multiple times and it still looks beautiful. Um, so yeah, dresses from Zara. Shoes are my Hermes Oran sandals. Um, bag is my Louis Vuitton Noe bag because I have a few things which I'm carrying with me. So I need a big bag. Okay, so I'm now back home. This is quite a nice setup actually. I've never thought to film here. Um, I'm in my kitchen. I've got some gypsophilia behind me, some prints behind me, and a nice cold drink. I my go-to drink my go-to drink in summer is tonic water with uh, elderflower cordial and of course some ice. Okay, I barely filmed when I was in town. Barely filmed. Um, I'm gonna close the door because I feel like there might be some like background noise. Uh, yeah, I barely filmed whilst I was out and about. So basically, I went to a dentist. It isn't great news. Basically, I'm either going to have to get a crown or the teeth has got to come out because there's actually not much of the tooth left. Um, I've had issues with this tooth for about two years. And yeah. So part of the reason why I didn't vlog as much was because she numbed me up for the procedure, which took about an hour, an hour and a half um which was a lot longer i thought it was just going to be like a quick in and out well, not in and out because you know half of my teeth had cracked off but i thought it was going to be a much shorter uh appointment uh, so yeah, anyway she numbed me up and half of my mouth i just couldn't move it so i was like i don't even want to vlog right now like I, I look awful i feel awful so anyway i went and had a look around the shops had a look around some baby sh uh, some baby shops um well not baby shops but i had a look around some shops and I actually have 
quite a few things to show you guys. Um, I didn't buy anything today, but I bought loads of things the other day at Marks and Spencers. Uh, in the meantime, whilst I was in town, I also went into Zara, did a return. I had one thing to return and we picked up our wedding bands as well. So we're having our legal wedding in uh, not so long, <laughs> very, very, very soon. So we picked up our wedding bands today and I absolutely love mine. You'll be seeing it very soon in a few vlogs. So that's that. I actually went and picked up a couple of packages from um, the um, post office. I'll unbox them in a minute. And then um, next thing that I had to do was go to Costco because like I said, we are having our legal wedding very, very soon. Um, so I hadn't been, I haven't been part of, I haven't been to Costco in a very long time. Jack signed up a few years ago, like four years ago when we lived in the other house and um, part of his work. Yeah, he signed up a while back. But anyway, we decided to re-sign up because um, because obviously we're going to be having a baby soon. I thought it would be a good idea to buy uh, book buy, nappies, wipes, things like that over the next um, few months, just so that when the baby's here and maybe I don't want to leave the house or maybe, um, I don't know, for whatever reason, I have a good supply of all of the essentials. So I wanted to get it for that. Um, but also because we're having our legal wedding, we're going to have um, our closest family here. Um, we're going to have a little party, a little garden party. Um, I'm so excited for that but because um, it's a really really small thing we didn't want to spend, we just didn't want to make it into a big thing because we're well, obviously in our abroad and that's going to be our huge celebration and um, we just still wanted to like we still wanted to remember the day um, and do something special for it so we're having our friends and family here and I just do not have the energy to cook and organize all of that thing whilst being pregnant in the summer I just do not have the like ability to do that I'm too tired we are ordering a wedding cake so I'm very very excited for that to um, be here but I want to DIY as much as possible especially because with our abroad wedding um, I won't be able to DIY anything because anything I DIY I have to take it all the way to the venue um, which isn't in the UK and I don't want to do that because we already, we're already already going to have a lot of things. We're going to have all of our clothes, our wedding clothes, a baby, baby stuff. I don't then want to be taking wedding um, stuff with me. So everything wedding related will be just supplied to us at the venue. But anyway, um, I decided to go to Costco because they do a lot of pre-made um, like trays of food, ready-made salads. Um, dessert, sweets, cakes, all that kind of thing, and I just wanted I wanted something easy. I we really, we were thinking about possibly hiring a caterer. I can organise this whole thing with the help of Costco, like set up the table and do all of that. But I just don't want to be cooking food and putting things together. If you know what I mean. So I went to Costco for that. Didn't actually buy anything today because we're still a little bit away. Um, obviously food only lasts for like three days so we'll go back to Costco very very soon to pick up all of those things. Anyway I'll unbox these packages. First one is from Garnier. I haven't had... Let's see what's in here. So minus seven cooling hyaluronic acid and icy cucumber. Funnily enough <gasps> face mask. Oh my gosh I'm gonna have to Oh my goodness, wow. Okay, I'm going to have to wear one of these this evening. So basically, after I'm done here, I'm going to grab a book, grab my laptop, do one or the other, <laughs> sit outside and plan out exactly how much we need of each thing from Costco so we can like um, have a budget and know exactly what we're going in for. Um, but whilst I do that, I think I'm going to be wearing one of these face masks. Look, my goodness. I feel like this is exactly what I needed. So it's a jelly, so it's a so it's a jelly sheet mask, and it has and it has hyaluronic acid and cucumber in there. I I love hyaluronic acid. It's one of my favourite things to put on my face, and it's actually one of my favourite things to put on my bump, um, just to prevent any um, stretch marks. Now I don't think it's um, 
like proven to help with stretch marks because I know stretch marks um, can be genetics but if there's anything I can do to prevent them I shall do them so um yeah I've been putting hyaluronic acid on my bump all throughout my pregnancy honestly from the minute I found out and even more so now that I'm growing so fast let speaking of growing I'm just gonna do a little bump update as well sorry I always get sidetracked but yeah look if you can see look how huge my belly is I'm 22 weeks and I look at my belly and I'm like oh my gosh it's so big um I try not to compare my growth and my shape and my bump to anybody else's but obviously it's hard not to compare because I just feel so much bigger than other um mums other mums who are at like the same level as me I feel like um from about 18 weeks is when I popped and my belly is just so big and um, the baby has been kicking like nothing else honestly from I'd say from like the end of last week like I've been feeling the kicks again from about 18 weeks but feeling the kicks but no I've been feeling the kicks like slight flutters here and there no one else could no one else no one else could feel them but now jack can finally feel them so yeah i'm now 22 weeks and this baby is moving like nothing else i have um an anterior placenta i found that out at my 20 week scan i have an anterior placenta which means that my placenta is at the front it's completely normal apparently completely healthy um it's what's well, completely normal apparently it doesn't cause any complications the only thing that um some women experience less, they feel less movements and less kicks. That's not been the case for me. I feel very, very lucky. Obviously, everyone's placenta is going to be different. Maybe my placenta is a bit higher than other people's because I can feel this baby moving anywhere. Like from here, which is like just above my belly button to obviously all the way down. I can feel this baby kicking all of the time and it makes me so so happy anyway i don't know how i got on to talking about that i also got these um hyaluronic jelly eye patches as well to be honest i feel really really tired all the time so i'm gonna use I don't, i'm definitely gonna use this one today this one might be from bobby brown in here we have the rouge lip and cheek i think it's a cream like blusher this is the first one which we have here and this is in the shade rose 42 how beautiful and then we have another one in the shade velvet plum love oh my gosh i feel like this one's going to be actually i would say this is going to be more of like a wintry one but um because i've tanned a little bit this might work, this might work really well now, whilst I'm a little bit darker. And obviously you can use them on your lips and on your cheeks. And you know what, I think that's what I love about Bobbi Brown products. They tend to be dual purpose. They tend to have a dual purpose, is that the right phrase? Who knows? Okay, and then we've got this eyeshadow palette. So yeah, these are the shades here. So it's rosy nude shades. That like cool tone shades so next thing on the agenda i've already talked about wanting to diy as many things as possible for our legal wedding and for me that is going to include my wedding bouquet now this could go very wrong and um <laughs> i've been to so many flower making um events and I've done it so many times at different events that I want to try and make my own bridal bouquet and I just think it's going to be so special when I look back and I'm like I made my own flowers I don't know I just think that's so cool so I'm going to attempt to do that um I bought some flowers whilst I was in town today and I'm going to watch a YouTube video <laughs> I've watched quite a few actually to be honest I've watched quite a few on YouTube um um so I'm gonna be following that um, I'm going to pop you guys on a time lapse <laughs> I'm going to try to make my bridal bouquet. Um, this won't be my actual bridal bouquet because um, I thought I would do like a trial run. 
basically. Um, try this out, see what I think, and go from there. So I've gone for quite a lot of um, white and green, and a little bit of greenery as well. And my favourite flowers, which sounds so boring, I absolutely love gypsophilia. Like, you can see I've got it there in the kitchen, and I wanted to add some gypsophilia into my um, bridal bouquet somehow. I also wanted some roses, however, um, these roses have already started going a little bit bad. Um, I just bought like cheap roses because I didn't see the point in buying like the really expensive ones because obviously um, if this goes right then I will buy the more expensive ones but if it doesn't go right I don't want to spend any loads of money on expensive roses. Um, I bought some of this flower as well which I have no clue what this is called. So yeah, Ooh. so I've got a bit of this flower here which is really nice and white. Um, I found that the roses are a little bit yellow so again I think that if Again, I feel like if I buy a better quality rose, then hopefully those will be a little bit more white and less kind of greeny yellow. I've got one thing of gypsophilia because I already have some in here as well. And then I've got two bunches of these just greenery bits. I wasn't go I wasn't sure whether to go for this plant or to go for um, eucalyptus, but I actually prefer the way that this this plant looked. I don't know what to call it. I should probably find out. I could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. We could be gazing at the stars, but now it feels just like I wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me. I never gave the key to you, even though I wanted to. Find something new, but now my body's sick. I'm tired of dwelling in the dark. It's just that my heart can't take it. I didn't know what it would cost me when I let you go. I feel alone, and I'm just singing. Mm -hmm. It should have been you. Another several hours later, <laughs> I finally did it. Now I'm not really sure. I'm going to insert some little clips so you can see it outside in natural daylight but this is what I have come up with um, as like a first attempt. Um, I don't think it's too bad for a first attempt. It's not too bad at all. I actually really, really like it. I'm not sure about how it's come up on camera, but I actually really, really like it. I think I don't think it's bad at all. Hi everyone, it's been a couple of days since I last, it's been a couple of days since I last spoke to you. And you might be thinking, why do you have so much makeup on today, Josephine? And um, basically I'm trying out my makeup for um, our legal ceremony. When I was on holiday, um, I actually contacted a local makeup artist uh, to do my makeup because I, I've always wanted, I've always been uncertain about whether to get my makeup done or have someone else my makeup. And I spoke to multiple, I spoke to multiple people about this because people have very like different views. Like some people are like, yep. Some people are like, yes, definitely have someone do your makeup. It's all about finding the right one. And I haven't found the right one in the UK. And when I got my makeup done whilst I was on holiday, um, when I had the makeup trial, I didn't love it. I felt like I could do my, I felt like I could do my own makeup a lot better. Well, I mean, the plan was always for me to do, the plan was always for me to do my own makeup at my legal wedding. Um, but I think I'm probably gonna do my own makeup at my, um, like a big wedding, <laughs> my main wedding. Um, so yeah, I'm doing a little bit of a makeup trial. I'm just trying out a few different looks. I've got eyelashes on, which I never ever ever wear eyelashes because I just think they always look too much. Um, but I do like the way that eyelashes can kind of finish off and polish off um, a look. Uh, I have these Isla three quarter eyelashes on. Uh, yeah, I, I do like them, but I do. I also do think that they might be just. A little bit too much so i might go and have a look for another pair of three quarter eyelashes that are a little bit more natural so i've gone for like a natural matte look 
a bit smoky just because I feel like in pictures it looks better when your makeup is a little bit on the smoky side um it just adds like depth and dimension and you look like you you actually look like you've got makeup on um anyway I'm just doing my lips my wedding dress for our for the legal wedding has arrived and also my veil has also arrived so I'm gonna be so I thought I would do my makeup and just see how I'm actually gonna look like on the day and um, i've also ordered a new wig so that should be coming in a few days time i haven't mentioned this but the reason why i probably feel more confident to my own makeup is because not only do i know my own face the most and um, i actually well i got into youtube because i used to love watching makeup tutorials so like in my late teens like mid to late teens I was so into makeup and I've actually worked on a couple of makeup counters like whilst I was at uni just um, as part-time jobs but I've actually worked um, on a few different makeup counters um, so I feel pretty confident doing my own makeup and I feel like I know my face the best. But yeah this is a makeup which I am going to be doing um, yeah I like it. What do you guys think? How did it go? I might actually insert a clip of the makeup which the makeup artist did because I filmed it um, but obviously I'm not I have, like I filmed it, I don't know why I filmed it um, or I might insert some pictures because I just don't think it <laughs> I'll just insert the pictures I'll insert the pictures or the videos if I have it I'm wearing this cute little top from Abercrombie I'll just show you it how cute is that? yes I am wearing pyjama bottoms because they're comfortable there you go you know my little secret <laughs> i'm gonna show you all a few things um for myself and a bunch of baby stuff that i have bought for baby <laughs> i'm gonna start with i'll start off with the things for myself um yeah but i'm gonna show you three dresses which i have been obsessed with, obsessed with um in the last few weeks um first one is this abercrombie dress i have it's my wardrobe i think i'm actually gonna wear it today because um, it's Father's Day today, I'm not doing anything, um, I'm home alone, chilling on my own, and I just think I'm going to have a little girly day on my own, get some brunch on my own, just have a little girly day on my own. I can't wait till I can do these days with baby, like, <laughs> I can't wait. I absolutely, I've said this a million times, but I love hanging out with myself, um, yeah, I love hanging out with myself, like, I have the best time when I hang out with myself, and I cannot wait to have a little friend who I can hang out with forever. First dress is this beautiful Abercrombie dress. Now, I got this dress because I was just completely obsessed with it, and at the time, the website didn't even have any discounts, so I paid full price, and it was expensive. I think it was like £130 for this dress, but I saw the dress and i was like the quality of this dress is gonna be impeccable and um, so it's about 130 pounds it's a maxi dress it's apt it's a white maxi dress full linen and it on the website it said that it was like a premium quality um linen dress it had like a bow at the back i bought it for the i bought it for our holiday and i have not stopped wearing this dress when i tell you the quality is impeccable it really is just like just it's incredible whether you're pregnant or not this dress will work for you so i got it in a size small and because I, because the back had like a bow detail, I thought I'll get it in a small. I'm not particularly a booby girl, like I'm not, I'm more lower half. However, obviously being pregnant, I am way more booby than normal. But I thought I would stick to a small because the back is adjustable and I can wear a small when I am back to my normal body. And um, whereas if I got um, a, a bigger size, um, then it might just be too big for me. I'm trying not to... If I can, I'm trying to just wear what I have and not buy too many like maternity things. I mean, the only specifically maternity thing I bought are a pair of jeans because none of my jeans fit. And just, I am a jeans girl and none of them fit. So I had to buy these one pair. So the dress fits really well. I got it in a size small. I got it in the tall version because I'm five foot eight. And on the model, I don't know what size that they had, um, but on one of the models, it looked like it kind of hit her at the ankles. I didn't want that, I wanted like full maxi, so I went for tall. I don't have any discounts, there's no promotions on the website as I'm talking right now. What is there? Let's have a look. No. So yeah, so there's no discounts on the websites on the website right now. I 
it, it's incredible. It also comes in navy, but you already know I'm really not a navy girl, so the white was the only option for me. The next two dresses are more like party wear, going out, weddings, occasions, any kind of special occasion that you have coming up and um, this summer, these two dresses will work so well. Now they'll work well if you're pregnant or if you're not pregnant so um i wouldn't worry about that um if you're not pregnant <laughs> just pretend the bump is not there um but first one is this black dress here this dress is an absolute beauty it's a black satin satin dress it just goes all the way down i went for a size 12 i'm um i'm usually like non-pregnant i'm usually between a 10 and a 12 i've been going for a 12 because it's just so much more comfortable um and i feel like the 12 will definitely still fit post-pregnancy because i feel like with satin dresses if they're like very streamlined i have big hips big bum so i tend to go up a size anyway but yeah this dress fits so so beautifully it's so flattering it also comes in other colors this dress does come in other colors so if you want a more vibrant color it, it also it i think it also comes in white and wouldn't this just be the most beautiful like second wedding dress second wedding day dress or like any kind of bridal occasion hindu little things little occasions around your wedding this would be so good for that too dress both of these dresses are from warehouse um i do have a discount code i don't know what it is yet i don't know when this video is going to go live i don't know my videos are all over the place i just upload them whenever and whenever i have the energy to sit at my computer for hours um and edit these kind of videos second dress is this green dress here now second dress is this beautiful green pleated dress so if you are pregnant or not pregnant this dress will work for you because it just skims over everything it's so comfortable i did a q and a a few a week ago and a lot of you guys were asking about wedding guest dresses and i would highly recommend both of them um this one does also come in like a champagne color so like a goldy champagne color i think that's also really beautiful but i've been having a green moment like you know the other abercrombie dress which i showed you and um, that the green one oh that dress was so i might wear that today actually yeah i think i'm gonna wear that today um again i got it in a 12 i think i probably could have gone with this uh a 10 to be honest because oh no i have gone for a 10 oh i have gone for a 10 anyway enough of that let's go on to baby stuff so when it comes to so when it comes to baby stuff i haven't actually bought that much i'm well into my fifth month of pregnancy and i'm very close to being six months pregnant which is just crazy i cannot believe this little baby is nearly six months um i haven't really bought that much i haven't like don't even ask me about nursery because just don't don't even ask me because i haven't even thought about that um baby's gonna be with us for a while <laughs> uh, upstairs with us for a little while um yeah i don't know do i start planning all of that now and then you know as i become more pregnant and i just don't want to do anything then it's all done for when i'm like 30 plus weeks or do i just ignore it i think i'm just gonna I, I, yeah I, I can't do that right now and anyway, our first baby things after our 12 week scan so we had a 12 week scan which feels like it was years and years ago we got so excited and we're like we're gonna go out and buy something just to kind of make it feel real when it comes to baby things i've kind of struggled the only place which i have found really nice things are marks and spencers so that's where we went when we first found out that we were expecting a baby we went to marks and spencers and had a look there i've been to quite a lot of shops i've been to zara i've been to white company i've been to um so many different shops the only other store which i've liked their neutral range or their non like girly too girly stuff is mamas and papas i think i might actually go back there today okay oh my gosh so many cute things first thing which i fell in love with and i was like we absolutely need to get this is this little cardigan here like oh my goodness look at it and it has little bunny ears have a bunny ear. So yeah, we picked up this little cardigan from Marks and Spencers. We got it in white. I think it came in blue, pink, grey. Um, but I thought the white was just the best anyway, and it would work for any gender. Um, it's just beautiful, and the quality of it is so so good. I think it was only how much was it? 
um, it was only twelve pounds, which I just think is such a steal. So if you are, so if you are looking for good quality things and you don't want to spend a bomb, honestly, Marks and Spencers is a lifesaver. And also, if you do like really gender specific. Also, if you do like gender specific things, like you like pink for a girl, blue for a boy, they do have a good range for that too. So the first thing that I got was this cardigan. All of these things should still be available, so I will link them down below. But look how cute it is. It's got a nice weight to it, not too heavy. Um, because our baby's going to be born in autumn, um, we wanted to buy some like, you know, nice cardigans and I will be buying more. Jack's favourite thing was this little um i don't know what to call it coat jacket so it's like a gray stripe uh fleecy jacket <laughs> i don't know what to call it that's what it looks like from afar it is it's so so cute and when i tell you that this is the softest thing ever in the zero to three months Hopefully it's going to fit the baby for quite a few months and not just like, I think it might, it probably will be too big at the beginning, but I might buy a new, well I will probably buy a new bold version, but I wanted to get this one in the bigger size as well. And this little jacket was £18, I don't know if you can see that, probably not. Yeah, it's £18 from M&S. During that visit as well, the last thing that we got, which is probably my favourite thing, <laughs> What age did we get this in? Zero to three months again. Okay, I am obsessed with yellow and I'm obsessed with Winnie the Pooh. Um, so this is what it looks like close up. So the first set is this yellow Winnie the Pooh onesie. So it's like yellow, it's so pretty. And then the second set is, I'll just flip it around. The second one is this one here, so it's like a neutral stripe with a Winnie, Winnie the Pooh at the front. I cannot believe my little baby is going to be in this. Can't believe. I haven't washed any of these things yet. I'm going to wait until I get a few more things. And I do have a good few months ahead of me. So there's no rush for me to wash any of these things. I definitely want to wash them before the end of summer. Because I want to dry them outside. Um, because, you know, I feel like clothes which dry outside just smell so much better. Sticking with the theme of yellow. And also sticking with Marks and... Well, I mean, all of these things are from Marks and Spencers. Um, I also got next thing i got is this set here so the trousers are like that linen -y material this one feels nice and soft to me it feels really nice and soft really really comfortable it's like i feel like it's a linen cotton mix oh, it feels beautiful and it has stars on it as well look at the stars and it also has little buttons which are non like you can't really do anything with them and then it has a completely plain yellow onesie as well Really plain and I just think they look so adorable together like so cute so just beautiful I love it so much so this one I also got in the three to six month range and it was 14 pounds another thing which I got in the three to six months is this trio set trio onesie set so it has the neutral, um, it has the neutral white and cream, the grey and beige, and then at the back it also has the uh, beige and grey at the back. It is so, so, so cute. Love this. Yeah, I love this. £12, it was £12 for a set of three. Again, in the three to six months, we've got this set here, which just has an elephant. Now, some people might be like, this one probably looks a little bit more boy, just because it has blue. I would put a girl in this, 100%. Um, so, it's, uh, so, the first, so the first one is it zipped along the side, which I love. Has a little elephant there. What does it say? I'm sleeping. It probably will be doing a lot of sleeping. So yeah, it's like a full onesie like so and then the other onesie looks like this this one probably might be a little bit more boyish for some people but again i would definitely put a girl in this and it's just got a panda an elephant and a 
koala. A koala. The koala's just there. How cute. There we go. That is a little onesie. This I got in the three to six months and it's £14. And then the final thing which I got, which I got in the newborn, I think. No, it's not. It's up to one month, sorry. Up to one month. Um, there we go. Oops. So it's just this, it's just this little onesie set here. It's in the packaging. I'm not going to... Should I take it out? No, I'm not going to take it out, but you can see it has like a little lion grey stripe and again a lion but white just like a long big onesie like so ah i do have one more thing i got this little bib set which has the elephant this matches this here kind of matches but not really i thought this was really really cute as well just a little bib set there we go this was six pounds it's really soft again i haven't bought any newborn like newborn things um i think that's the next thing i'm gonna get a few newborn things here and there um but yeah, i don't want to buy too much because they outgrow everything hopefully i've managed to show everything really well i will link everything in the description box if i can all of these things are from marks and spencer so i think they will be available online so i'll link things where i can um i'm gonna end the vlog here i feel like i don't have anything else to show you but i'm so so excited and i'm not going to show you this but after this after i finish filming this video i'm going to try on my wedding dress and I've also made my flower bouquet, which I showed you guys within this vlog. I'm going to wear that. And I also have my veils as well. So I'm going to have a little try on after this vlog. I'm not going to film it. I don't know if I'll ever show it. I'm not even sure whether we're ever going to even share those pictures um, on my social media. Just because we're so excited for the main wedding. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so excited. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to catch you guys in my next vlog. Bye. Bye.